a good design disappears into the background and you don't actually notice it. But the fact that it appears so simple and so effortless is the product of an incredible amount of iteration and very creative design. And then it just manifests in this thing that is accessible to everyone. My name is Leanne Makatora. I'm a fifth year PhD student in electrical engineering and computer science. And I work in the computational design and fabrication group. Computational design and fabrication is most often associated with 3D printing. When we manufacture something, we also want it to have specific properties. We can actually control the behavior of a fabricated object by modifying the distribution of material inside of that object. My project is figuring out what are the set of interesting shapes to design, and then also figure out which ones lead to interesting properties and how we can manipulate those materials further. The structures themselves are known as mechanical metamaterials. The interesting thing about these sorts of structures is that it's really the shape that matters. The primary thing we're interested in is how the shape affects the behavior of the specific material we've chosen. A central part of my project is coming up with a language that makes it easy to realize all of these different shapes and explore all of them in a meaningful way. Mechanical metamaterials have applications in a wide range of fields. They've been looked at for biomedical engineering, for the purpose of prosthetics, because you want something that's lightweight, you want something that's strong. They've been looked at for bone implants. A natural domain for them is in aerospace engineering, where you are looking to design a part of a satellite or part of a plane wing such that it is lightweight, it's durable, it's strong, and it responds to forces in very specific ways. This process of carving out complicated shapes has allowed engineers and designers to reduce the mass of an airplane wing by such a significant factor that it would save tons of airplane fuel per year per airplane. Computational design is very interesting because there are fewer physical prototypes that need to be made along the way in order to justify the design approach that you are taking or to understand the behavior it's going to have in the real world. And so this has an immediate sustainability impact by reducing the number of things we need to fabricate in order to get to good performance. And it also makes the design cycle faster and more pleasant for engineers, which means that we can make more progress in a shorter amount of time. It can be hard to interact on a very deep level with people from all different disciplines. And that's one of the things that this fellowship seems poised to do. And I'm so excited to learn from everyone else and, you know, different corners of design that I haven't thought of.